Valentine's Day, let's take a solid heart, steel heart. It's solid all the way throughout. So this is a solid conductor. And I bring on this conductor charge from the outside. Plus or minus, let's just take plus for now. And so the question that I'm asking you now, this is a conductor, this is not an insulator. The story for insulators is totally different. This has free moving electrons inside. I'm asking you now if I touch this conducting heart, by the way, your heart is a very good conductor. Uh, if you touch this conducting heart, where would this charge end up? Where would it go to? And I leave you with four choices. And we'll have a vote on that. The first choice is that the plus charges would uniformly distribute for throughout. The possibility. The second possibility, less likely, I think, that all the charge will go to one place there. I don't know which place that would be, but maybe. And then the third possibility is that maybe the charge will uniformly distribute itself only on the outer surface. And then the fourth possibility is none of the above. All these suggestions I made were wrong. Who would think that the charge might uniformly distribute it throughout the conductor? I see one or two hands. That's good. Don't feel ashamed of raising your hands. In the worst case, you're wrong. I've been so many times wrong when it comes to this. Don't feel bad about that. Who thinks that the charge will all go to one point in the heart? You have the courage? You think it will go to one point? Charge repels each other, right? But that doesn't seem likely. Who thinks that it will uniformly distribute itself on the outer surface? Who thinks none of the above? Very good. Well, those who suggested that it might be uniform on the outside, I would still give them a B, but it's not uniform, as you will see. But it will go exclusively to the outside, and I will prove that now to you. Let us first look for that ridiculous possibility that the charge would somehow end up in the conductor itself. I take here a Gaussian surface, which is a closed surface. I know inside the conductor, if we have electrostatic fields, not fastly moving charges, but it's a static field, I know that the E field everywhere must be zero on the surface. This is a closed surface. So the integral of E dot dA equation one is zero. That means the charge inside my sphere is zero, and so there cannot be any charge. So Gauss law immediately kills the possibility that there would be any charge inside this conductor. So that's out of the question. So that leaves you only with one choice, that is on the, at the surface. So the charge must be at the surface. And later, in a later lecture, I will discuss with you the details why that charge is not uniformly distributed. It would be uniformly distributed at the surface if this were a sphere, but not if it has this funny shape. But it will be at the surface. Now, I'm going to make this heart a very special heart, more like a real heart. It's open here, but it is solid here. So this is a conducting, the heart muscle, and here it's open. There's nothing here. And again, I'm going to charge it, bring charge on the outside. So now, it's obvious that we don't expect that there is any charge that will be inside the conductor. That's clear. The same argument holds with the Gauss law argument. But now, is it perhaps possible that some of the positive charge will go on the inside of this surface and some on the outside? Who thinks that maybe some will now go on the inside? Because now the situation is different, right? There's now, it's now a hollow conductor. Anyone in favor of some of that charge maybe going on the inside? I see one hand, two hands. Who says, no, it's not possible, it will not go to the inside. It will still go to the outside. Well, most of you are very careful now. You don't want to vote anymore. It cannot go to the inside. Why can it not go to the inside? Let this be my Gauss surface. Closed surface. Think of this as three-dimensional. 
everywhere on that line the electric field is zero because you're inside the conductor. So the surface integral is also zero. So Gauss' law says there cannot be any charge inside that box. And so, again, the charge has to go to the outer surface and nothing will go to the inner surface. And so the conclusion then is that the electric field is zero in the conductor, but the electric field is also zero in this opening. There's never any charge there. And so the whole heart, including the cavity, is an equipotential. There's never any electric field anywhere. There are only electric fields outside the heart, and there are field lines, and these field lines everywhere are perpendicular to the surface of the heart because the heart is an equipotential. So here you get very funny field lines which go like this. They have to be perpendicular locally where they reach the heart wall. Earlier in my lectures I showed that a uniformly solid sphere has electric field zero inside and I even showed to you that a hollow conducting sphere also has zero electric field inside. Today I have demonstrated that it doesn't have to be a sphere, you don't need spherical symmetry, that any shape, provided that it's a hollow conductor, it has to be a conductor, any shape will give you an electric field of zero inside. 